when we talk about Germany's best forwards, what comes to your mind? Gerd Müller, Miroslav Klose, Jurgen Klinsmann, right? But there was a player who possessed a rare combination of finesse and power in his shots and a unique style of play that bamboozled defenders. His ability to read the game and position himself perfectly inside the box made him a nightmare for defenders. Rudy Waller Despite his relatively average height for a striker, Waller's impeccable timing and anticipation allowed him to outmaneuver taller opponents and find the back of the net with his head. It contributed significantly to his reputation as one of the most talented and complete forwards of his era so much so that he was nicknamed the Flying German. Join us as we take you through a journey of his illustrious career and explore just how good this football icon truly was. Rudy Waller's story began in Germany, where he was born on April 13, 1960. As a child, he displayed an inborn passion for football, honing his skills and setting the stage for what would become a remarkable career. At the age of 17, he started playing with Kickers Offenbach and in the summer of 1980, Waller moved to 1860 München, where he endured a tough debut season that reached a nadir with the club's relegation. Yet, Rudy became the driving force behind the club's promotion charge the following year, scoring 37 goals in 37 matches to fire the club back into the top tier of German football. With his name on the lips of half the clubs in Europe, Waller signed for Werder Bremen. He burst onto the Bundesliga scene like a comet capturing the attention of football fans across the globe. In his first season, he outscored everyone to take home the top scorer award scoring 23 goals in just 31 matches. Werder Bremen just missed out on the title on goal differences with Hamburger as well taking the title as both of them were having the same points. Then, the Euro 1984 came where he was featured in the UEFA Euro team of the tournament, which led to many clubs trying to get him. Clubs in Italy began to circulate, with Torino and Fiorentina attempting to sign the German. Though, the strongest push for Waller's signature came from AC Milan, but Rudy decided against the move as he felt he was not ready to move out of Germany. Hey, by the way, I work really hard on these videos and I would really appreciate if you just like the video and subscribe to my channel. In the following seasons, Werder Bremen performed really well. And the reason behind it was Waller's partnership with striker Klaus Olofs, which resulted in Werder Bremen dominating matches in the Bundesliga. Due to their partnership, Werder Bremen was the league's top scorer in the 1985-1986 season. He was the main man due to which they went neck to neck with Bayern Munich till the last match day, though again missing out on the title as Bayern Munich had a better goal difference. I guess he was just unlucky to miss out on titles on two separate occasions. Still, his contribution to the team cannot be understated as before him. Werder Bremen were in a really bad position. Then came the 1986 World Cup, in which Rudy Waller scored three goals and all three were important ones. He scored the West Germans' equaliser in a 2-1 win over Scotland in the group stage. He backed the last minute goal against France in the semi-final to seal a 2-0 win. And in the final itself, his 80th minute goal made it 2-2 against Argentina. On the way to the semi-final of the 1986 World Cup, West Germany struggled to put Mexico to bed at the quarter-final stage and needed a penalty shootout to finish the job. In response, the man who would eventually lift the World Cup, Diego Maradona, declared that the Germans felt Rudy Waller's absence. In his last season at Bremen, he scored 22 goals and performed spectacularly, which earned him a move to AS Roma. In five seasons at Werder Bremen, he scored an impressive 97 goals in just 137 games and also provided 11 assists. Rudy Waller was a true artist on the pitch. His close ball control, dribbling skills and impeccable timing made him a joy to watch. He had a knack for making the most difficult moves appear effortless, leaving fans and opponents in awe. In the summer of 1987, Bayern Munich were desperate to sign him. And yet, because of sporting rivalry, Waller declared that he would play for any team in the world except the Bavarians. Finally, Rudy Waller was transferred to AS Roma for five seasons where he became a mainstay for the team and earned the nickname El Tedesco meaning the German and also Il Tedesco Volante meaning the flying German. Even though he performed lower than Germany with 45 goals in five seasons, Rudy Waller became one of the most important players of the team as he transformed his style of play with increasing his focus to build the play as well, registering 32 assists during his stay. Injuries meant he managed the three goals in his first season at Roma and he had only added one more by Christmas of his second season. But Waller never gave up and his work ethic began to deliver goals. So much so that Roma fans came up with a chant Fly German Flag to acknowledge the effort put in by the flying German. I'm lucky because Waller is on my team. He's just so good. The best there is. I don't know if I'd be able to stop him. This was Alder, Waller's teammate at Roma. There were numerous memorable moments for Waller at Roma. 
but the sweetest one is when the red and yellow team won the Coppa Italia in 1991, making it as the seventh Coppa Italia title. His time in Italy showcased his adaptability and further solidified his reputation as a top-tier striker. Now, let's talk about a moment that truly solidified Rudy Waller's status as a football legend. The 1990 FIFA World Cup, representing West Germany, Waller played an instrumental role in the journey to victory. Where he scored three goals and, despite being injured, helped the team in the final to secure a 1-0 win to lift that beautiful trophy. His skillful play and ability to score crucial goals helped lead his team to victory, solidifying his status as one of the world's best strikers. After his successful stint at Roma, he was transferred to Marseille, where he would go on to win the French Championship and the UEFA Champions League, the dream of every footballer. But when it turned out that Marseille was involved in the match-fixing scandal after two seasons. The league title was taken back and the cluster was dropped. For these reasons, he returned from Marseille to his country and transferred to Bayer Leverkusen. By this time, he had started to slow down. He was in the same volley as before. Still, he somehow managed to be the top scorer of the team with 16 goals in his first season and was named in the Kicker Bundesliga team of the season, showing the world just how brilliant he was. Though in the next season, his goals would decrease due to injuries, scoring only 10, but he had already established himself as a club legend there. As we reflect on Rudy Waller's legacy, it's clear that his impact on football is immeasurable. His playing style, characterized by determination, versatility, and a deadly scoring touch, inspired a generation of footballers. Waller's impact extends beyond his playing days as he continues to be involved in football management and development. And there you have it, folks, a glimpse into the incredible legacy of Rudy Waller. As we wrap up this tribute, we invite you to share your favorite Waller moments in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time keep enjoying the beautiful game